Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss about increment operator. The increment operator is represented by the symbol double plus and it increments the value of the variable by 1. For example, if you are considering a plus plus means, what is the actual value of a that will get incremented by 1? So this is the purpose of increment operator. And the increment operator is a unary operator. So unary operator is nothing but operator with a single operand. So here only one operand is there. Either this operator we can place after the operand or before the operand. Since this operator works with a single operand, it is called unary operator. The main purpose of using this increment operator is to speed up the operation. There are two categories of increment operator. One is post increment and another one is pre increment. So in post increment, the operator plus plus is placed immediately after the operand. That is A. This is the operand and the operator is placed immediately after the operand. That is post increment. And in pre increment, if you are considering, the operator plus plus is placed before the operand. So this is the main difference. So here the operand is placed and the operator is placed before the operand. So in post increment, first the operand is placed, next the operator is placed. And in pre increment, first the operator is placed and next the operand is placed. And in post increment, it increments the value by 1 after operant value is used. So here the operant is there and this operant value, what is the value of A? That value is used first and then it will get incremented. And in pre-increment, it increments the value by 1 before the operant value is used. So here if you are considering operator is placed before the operand. So here the value of A will get incremented by 1 and then its total value is used. But in post increment the actual value of A is used first and then it will get incremented. So this is the main difference between post increment and pre increment. Next to consider this example for post increment. So here if you are considering, we have declared a variable a as an integer variable and a value 20 is assigned to this integer variable. So now the value of a is 20. And here if you are considering, simply I am implementing an increment operation. So this is a post increment. So here operand is used first and then the operator is placed. So here if you are considering, a value is 20 and it will get incremental means we will get 21. Next statement, we are asking to print the value of A. So what it will get printed? That is 21. Simply a single statement that increments the value of A and this is a post increment. Next, consider the example for pre-increment. So in pre-increment also, we have used an integer variable a and the value 20 is assigned. So this is a pre-increment. So here the variable value will get incremented by 1. Here also in this statement, the value will get incremented to 21. And then if you are asking to print means, it will print 21 only. So here if you are considering, we didn't find any difference. Here a single statement, we have implemented a post-increment. Here also a single statement we have implemented a pre-increment and both the operator increments the value by 1 only and we are asking to print the value and it will print 21 only. So there is no difference here. Now take the second example and here if you are considering we have used two integer variable that is int a and the value 20 is assigned to a and next b is also an integer variable. And here if we are considering, we have used an assignment statement. That was b equal to a plus plus. So this is a post increment operator. And this post increment operator along with its operand, we have used as an assignment statement. 
So here the operand is placed first. So what is the value of A? What is the initial value of A? And that value will be assigned to B first. And then the value of this variable gets incremented. So here the value of A is 20. And that 20 is assigned to variable B. So now in the memory location of B, the value 20 will be stored. And then A variable will get incremented to 21. So in the memory location of B, the value 20 will be stored. And in the memory location of A, the value 21 will be stored. Since this is a post increment, operant value is used first. So here it is assigned first and then it will get incremented. So if you are asking to print the value of A and B means the value A will be printed as 21 and the value B will be printed as 20. So this is post increment. And if you are checking with pre increment, the same thing only. Here we have declared two variables as integer variable that is A and B and for A value 20 is assigned. And here consider this statement. This is an assignment statement with pre-increment. So here B equal to plus plus A. So here if you are considering since it is a pre-increment, the variable value will get incremented by 1 and then it is used. So here what is the value of this variable? That is 20 and it will get incremented to 21. And then this 21 is assigned to B. So this is the main difference. Here if you are considering operant value is assigned first then gets incremented. Here operant value gets incremented first and then assigned. So here if you are considering the value 21 will be stored in the memory location of B also. And in A also, the value gets incremented to 21 and that updated value will be stored in the memory location of A. So if you are asking to print A value and B value, both will print 21 only. So this is the main difference. Here only we will find the difference of post increment and pre increment. And simply if you are implementing with a variable as a post increment and pre increment, we won't find any difference. Simply the value will get incremented and updated value will be printed with the variable. And actually when the value is used, that time we will find the actual difference between the post increment and pre increment. So this is nothing but the increment operator. So in this session we have discussed the increment operator. And in the next session we will discuss decrement operator. Thank you for watching this video.